Good morning, everybody. It's Caitlin with Remax Real Estate Center. And Lisa Seversight with Global State Mortgage. And we, we have, have a guy in between us. We have a special guest again we, today. He's been, you might recognize him from past video. From the flood day. Yes, our flood day. When the when the mailman got stuck. Yes, under our the <laughs> Cool. So we have Tim Hibbing with Fortress Insurance. Got it. Yeah. And uh, we've known Tim for a long time. He, you know, we have our paths have crossed many years ago. 20 years. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. So I knew it was Timmy Hibbing. Yeah. A few people still call him Timmy. Do they? Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know Timmy Hibbing. I just, I just know adult insurance guy, Tim Hibbing. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Babysit, your niece and nephew, Gage and Jay. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Not niece. Right, nephews. Nephews. Yeah. yeah. Very that had cool. to be fun. Back in the 90s. Yeah. Wow. We were yeah. just talking, the boys were just talking about the little Jake Gage little stuff going on. So that had to be like, you know, Jake and Gage was different, right? And yeah. so Gage was just talking about Big Brother Jake was really fun. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> so paths cross throughout yeah. lives, like six yeah. degrees separation. Oh, Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon, yeah. So, oh, yeah. yeah, it is. So we're, you know, it's a nice sunny day here today, but. But. Some days it's not. Some days it's not, and it can wreak havoc on your house, yeah, it right? can. Absolutely. So, you know, we had a lot of hail damage this year. And so people like Tim were kind of busy in May and June, weren't you? Yeah. Um, honestly, we were busy. We did 300 claims in six months. Wow. So wow. what's really unique about hail is that um, there, there's a massive domino effect. People see their neighbor getting a new roof. And, yes. Oh, how are they getting a new roof? <laughs> right. Oh, I better go check mine. Right. Yes. You're right. Because you, there, were, there were a couple of, it, it was really kind of neighborhood-ish right. where the, the, those storms came in. And right. so you walked right through the neighborhood and every other house yeah. was getting something and deciding a roof. And it was truly, it was truly hail damage, you yeah. know. So it was a lot of very destructive storm. Yep. Yeah. 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 So then, so in those houses, like we actually have had some really relevant things because yep. some of those people had their houses for sale. Exactly. During some of that time. Yep. And I had one in particular where we had an, an agreement on a, uh, on, a, um, on a home and that storm came in prior to closing. So of course that seller, you know, had a, an insurance claim and, and the work was done actually we were lucky it was done prior to closing. Right. So in that case, you know, it's pretty obvious. Hail damage happens, the seller makes a claim with their insurance company and um, they get their replacement or whatever. Right. Um, just knowing the situation, he was a little surprised he didn't have full coverage. So talk to us a little bit about coverage. Sure, sure. Yeah, I, I, you know, first of all, thanks for having me on. Yeah, yeah. you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, 90, 95% of policies mm -hmm. have Full replacement cost. Okay. Um, what is becoming a little bit more popular is that um, insurance companies really feel like they're getting beat up by this hail thing. Yeah, <laughs> literally beat and, up. <laughs> yeah. And Hound it on. And it's worse in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. um, and so what we're seeing is that you know there are clauses in the policy where at a certain there's a roof depreciation schedule. So, oh, okay. Because yeah. your shingles, when you put it on, they have a roof life, right? right. Yeah. So if you guys know, so your mm -hmm. shingles on your house have a 15, 25. 20 year, 25 year roof life, right? Right. Yeah. And so, you know, a lot of companies are saying, hey, look, after 15 years, um, you know, we're, we're not on the hook for full replacement costs. Okay. Or after 20 years, we're not on the hook. Mm -hmm. um, but they'll give a depreciated amount for that. Correct. Right. Rather than they won't say we're not going to give you anything, but we'll give you right. X. Okay. Yeah. So there'd there be there'd be three concepts to talk about. One is full replacement cost, mm -hmm. which is just the best of all worlds. Right. The second is actual cash value, and this is where oh. you are. The, the insurance company is going to come out. and They're going to say, "Look, you know, we owe you a new roof, so we're going to pay a hundred percent of the labor." But your shingles are halfway through their life. Okay. So we only owe you for 50% the cost of new materials. Makes sense. Okay. And then the third concept is being grandfathered in or not. So Ooh. as an example, okay. uh, progressive insurance um, is, is surprisingly lenient. You can have a 19-year-old roof, mm -hmm. sign up with them, mm -hmm. and they'll give you full replacement cost for life. Wow. Okay. Other companies... You might have a 14-year-old roof, mm -hmm. and the very next year, you are being depreciated. depreciated. Oh, okay. Wow. 
interesting. because that company doesn't grandfather you in. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah. Okay, let's say that um, a house has had hail damage in May, June, and they got a settlement of some sort for right. that work, and they decided to phone the ring. The phone Lisa. But, yeah, yes, phone Lisa. To call Lisa. <laughs> Don't call me. <laughs> uh, they decided, you know, I really have some other work in my house that needs more attention. Right. So I'm going to use that payout to replace the furnace and the air conditioner instead. Then in October, you know, we're relocating or for whatever reason we find another house we want to move. Right. So what happens when that next buyer comes and make an application for homeowner's insurance? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a couple things. Um, you know, insurance is a contract of indemnification. Ooh, that's a big word. That's a big that's word for us. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty simple around here. That's a big word. There's your million dollar statement. Yeah. It just means that the, the goal of the entire insurance concept is that it just puts you back in the place you were. Okay. So you should never be robbing Peter to pay Paul. Okay. Never taking insurance money to fix another problem. Okay. Or if you do, um, expect there to be consequences when you go to sell the house. Okay. Because like, as you so guys talking, you know, you have a database, right? So like when I say, right. I'm going to buy this house that mm -hmm. Kaylin is talking about. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come to you and say, Hey, I want an insurance policy on this house. When you pull it up, right. You see that there was a claim made. Right. And what the claim was for. Correct. It, it generally speaking, it'll, it'll say hail or water or fire. And then we have to ask the questions. The questions. Right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Great. So you can't really, hide that you really cannot right yeah. there's kind of there's an like there's an ethical part of it and then there's also like you're gonna get caught right, <laughs> right exactly right i mean yeah. Yeah. so the example that we were talking about mm -hmm. before we went live here was we didn't um, prep today can you believe it <laughs> yeah oh right so um we had a close friend and uh they were looking at buying their dream house mm -hmm. and the seller mm -hmm. um had gotten a thirty-five thousand dollars settlement for his roof and the oh wow you know eaves. It's, by the way, the easiest way to crawl up on your roof and find out if you have hail damage mm -hmm. is to not crawl up on your roof, but just look at your downspouts. Oh. Yeah, and see if they've been dinged by the hail. Mm -hmm. So, so anyway, a little side note, great little side note, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this guy um, had gotten a thirty-five thousand dollar check. Okay, and he really believed that he just lucked out, hit the lottery. And was going to be able to sell his house for the normal market rate. Okay. And leave the roof for that guy to deal with. Okay. Even though right. he had the thirty-five thousand dollar check, right? To right replace that roof. roof. So my guy, my friend, my client comes mm -hmm. to me and says, "What do you think?" And we said, "Well, we have two issues here. What? Number one, you better be getting a thirty-five thousand dollar deal on the house." <laughs> right, because obviously there's going to be an inspection on that property. Right. You and they're need gonna, a new roof. You need a new roof. It's going to say, yep, it needs a new roof, new yep. gutters, eaves, whatever. Yeah. Yep. I, I said the second issue is if you don't have a new roof, mm -hmm. your company is going to see right. $35,000 was paid for something. Yes. And if they come out and find mm -hmm. that nothing was repaired, you're going to be dropped. Yep, exactly. Oh, so his insurance company is going to say, you bought right. this house. We already see that this roof should be new. Right. It's not. Right. Yep. There's damage, obviously. So yep. you do you do something or you're gone. You're exactly. Right. So I'll give and you if you have a mortgage, we require insurance. Right. Just exactly. FYI. Because the check the <laughs> check actually goes, if there's a mortgage on the house, the check actually goes to the mortgage holder, made out to the owner and the mortgage holder, correct? If it's over five thousand dollars. Okay. All right. So sure. you have you will receive that check and you guys have to have that kind of discussion. Right. Before right. you can sign that check over to them. Right. Yeah. Right. So a side note on that too. So if you get a thirty-five thousand dollar check, right? Right. And the mortgage person, and you're choosing not to do it, mm -hmm. it is in your mortgage that you are expected then to pay down your mortgage by that amount. Um, that's part of the whole deal. So there's, yes, because that the value of the house mm -hmm. has now gone it's down gone down because right. it, there's damage done. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. yeah, so there's, you know, there's obviously lots of ethical things going on here. Right. Right. I mean, it, it's, it's, you know, you get a $35,000 check and it's very easy to go, woohoo, now yeah. what am I going to do? Go on know? vacation. Go to Disney right. World. I mean, the roof's <laughs> <worst, the worst laughs> not leaking. I, I'm fine. I'm good. Right. But, right. you know, really, you know, you, that's what that, that's what insurance is for. It's to insure your home so that money should be taken care of the home. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the best thing to do if you, if you really want to get ahead. Right. The, the best thing to do is take the money. Um, buy the materials and re-roof it yourself. I mean, and that, well, oh, and there's really right. no, and so as long as the work is done, you don't, 
That, that, well, that's a good question. You don't require a receipt for that work. No, okay. No. All right. Not at all. How do they determine? So like, just question like, so at $35,000 or whatever, right. what is the determining? Is it like square footage? Is it a certain type of shingle? Or what do you know? Like, or is it different insurance? Whoever your provider is has a different way of calculating that? Lots of, lots of good questions here. So first of all, um, if you were to crawl up on the roof, right. um, a couple telltale signs. Not, not a good thing. We're not yeah. recommending that. We're, we're free yeah. of all liability. Right. Yeah. <laughs> not attorneys. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah. They sign, wa they sign waivers yeah. to watch this? <laughs> uh, we, they probably should. should. Yeah. So if you did crawl on your roof and you wanted to assess this, sometimes the nails will be jetting through the shingle. Mm. Yeah. That's an obvious thing that the right. impact has been so strong. Oh, wow, okay. Um, and then the second thing is that typically the underbelly of the shingle should be cracked. Oh, okay. So the, the, again, the force of the hail was so bad that it sort of did that. Oh, the, okay, gotcha. Shingle. But um, what were we talking about? We are talking about the different, how do they determine how much you're gonna get paid out? How much you're gonna get paid, yes. Okay. So there's definitely um, you know, a function of the square, mm -hmm. like how, how much you're getting per square. Mm -hmm. um, this is kind of nice to know, but most companies use the same software. Oh, so oh, you know they're good. gonna take a, a dollar per square okay. um, and then add on all their stuff for like window sills and downspouts and things okay, like that. Gotcha. It's, it's a pretty good mm -hmm. science. What we have seen is that some companies are more generous on roof caps and oh. ice guard in the valleys okay, gotcha. compared to right. others. Um, but at the end of the day, hail is kind of nice because everyone's thrilled you know, to get some help on a brand new roof. Right, right. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So what happened? So that would be if you chose to use the money for something else again, mm -hmm. it would come back to you. So you wanted new gutters on your house, but it was the money was for something else. It's gonna come up when you go sell your house. Right. What happened to that roof? Well, we got new gutters, but our roof is still bad. Right. 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 Yeah, we were just dealing with uh, somebody in Ankeny this week, which I don't know how they're re roofing in Ankeny. It's supposed to be forty five degrees. Um, or warmer. All oh, right, for the shingles to adhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So there's this deal going on in Ankeny right now where mm -hmm. um, she wants to close January 30th and the roof is oh, oh. way toast. Out, it, The roof is toast and then they're going to do it. But the, the buyer went to the seller and said, deal is off if you don't put a new roof on, on here or give me a $3,000 right. credit or something like yeah, you know, right. $5,000 credit. Okay. And so the seller just had no choice but to put that roof put on, that roof on. <clears throat> yeah. hmm. which is not a fun surprise. No, when you're trying to, no, um, when you're trying to do the, yeah, no kidding. Right. <laughs> yeah. So can you give us a quick two, um, we're going a little longer on this one, but can you give us a quick two? So there's two, there's kind of different versions of insurance mm -hmm. as you're looking. So you're getting a quote for your homeowner's policy. Um, HO3, HO5, yeah. HO4, condos, right? HO6. HO6s. Oh, good job. So, yeah. It's good. I'm not, I, I just know the basics, but. Um, <laughs> so can you kind of tell, so I'm buying a house, um, shopping for my insurance, going, man, right? There's a lot of HO, H, HOs out there. Yeah. If I'm choosing between them, what's my difference that I'm looking at um, going beyond just like a rental policy or just your basic primary homeowner's insurance? I come to you and you're saying, here's an HO3 policy, here's an HO5, what's my difference that sure. maybe I'm getting in those? Sure, so we'll break it down into exterior and interior. Okay. Um, um, policies are in nature an HO5, which is, uh, on the exterior, okay. um, pretty much anything goes. Let, let's start over real okay. quick. So there's, there's typically three universally understood exclusions. Okay. Uh, one is terrorism. Okay. okay. Um, another is flood. Okay. Unless you buy it separate. Right. And another is earthquake. Okay. okay. Unless you buy it separate. Okay. So if we can put those three on the shelf are, for a moment. Those are right. over here. Yeah. Yep. And as it pertains to the exterior, okay. pretty much anything goes regardless of whether you have HO3 or HO5. Okay. okay. It's covered. The interior is where we get into the value of an HO5. Oh, so, okay. Um, your personal property uh, is defined as if you could pick your house up, turn it upside down, and shake it like a snow globe, anything that would fall out of mm -hmm. the house is your personal property. Yeah. Oh, okay. So a wall-to-wall -wall carpeting is attached so it's part of the house. Very good. Okay. Very good. But your couch is not because it would fall. <laughs> right. It would be the snow. <laughs> right. <laughs> but what if, what, what if your couch is plugged in like mine is? Um, <laughs> In all seriousness, um, the, the thought is that it would come unplugged okay, all from right. the wall. Well, if, because if, you're shaking it. Yes. You're shaking it. Right. It's a recliner. That's what it is. It's a, 
Yeah. yeah. It's so heavy. It's yeah, the right, it's the, the recliners okay. weigh like a thousand pounds. Right? <laughs> they do. Yes. <laughs> so the height of that? No, it's not. Okay. It's, it's got just... a massage thing. No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Off topic. Okay, back to the. Do you interior. live at North Grand Mall? <laughs> 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 Victoria's Secret. That's right. I asked people as they come by, "Would you like to sit in the massage?" <laughs> right. <laughs> what do you do over my lunch hour? Right. Um, She's never asked me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So, um, yeah, so the HO3 is just going to, uh, it's called a named perils okay. policy. And it's just going to list 16 things, fire, windstorm, tornado, hail, theft, pipe burst, tap your garage with your car, mm -hmm. bar driver drives into your house with his car, mm -hmm. somebody has a seizure while driving, they drive into your house. Okay. Those are all going to be included in the HO3 named perils policy. 90% of people, that's all they have. Okay. 10% are going to do that HO5, mm -hmm. and this is where, you know, weird stuff starts to be covered. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll never forget 2008, I had my first customer call and say their kids were playing Nintendo Wii, oh. tennis, they threw the controller, hit the TV, they wanted coverage for that. They were not wearing the wrist guard things, they like keep it on your right. Right. Or that same year, 2008, um, we had a dog excrement all over the house oh. while his owner was away on vacation because the dog sitter didn't come to let him out. Oh. So in those weird situations, or, or two years ago, right. a, a woman cut her leg on a glass table and she bled everywhere. Fortunately, she bled on carpet, which was attached to the house. So there was coverage Rich. on her HO3. Oh my gosh. But had she bled on a rug or the couch, there wouldn't have been any coverage. coverage. Grandkid, you got four of them. Yes. If they spill grape juice, all over you know, I everything. No, I had one take a sippy cup and break my 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 TV one time. I never claimed that. So it's, <laughs> that's a whole other topic. That's a whole other topic. <laughs> and then the reason that ninety percent just do the named perils mm -hmm. is because you know a lot of the claims you're going to make are going to be small. Yes. Barely over and the deductible. And there's deductible, right? right? Now your rate's going to go up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but if you really just don't want to take any chances, you want to be super safe, HO5, open perils, the way to go, probably costs an extra 3 to 5%. Okay. All right. Well, that's a lot of information to digest today. Yeah. But uh, the main thing is to, you know, maybe take out that insurance policy and take a look at it and read it. Yeah. You know what? And, um, you know, the if your insurance, if you have a mortgage, your insurance is kind of tied to your mortgage, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't mean you can't change your insurance. Correct. Right. So if you look at your policy and think, maybe I need to take a look at that and see if I need to make sure I'm covered. Mm -hmm. And if you've had any insurance claims, you might want to check to make sure you've done what you needed to do in case you end up selling your home and... Yep. You know, you don't want to have any issues come up. We want to yeah. have smooth sailing. Yeah, and I would say too, like right, we had that, we got that check. The thing to do, it's gonna come up, right? So, like actually, I had this guy in high in, 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 in college that was so funny because he would do stuff to his car, mm -hmm. and then he would just keep the check and then put duct tape. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> right? And if you ever watches, you know who you are. Um, <laughs> but I always thought that was hysterical, right? Because. Right, but when you're selling, so car, maybe I don't know about the car. That's a whole different topic. But sure. the house, right? Mm -hmm. It's gonna yep. come up because some you're gonna sell it. It's gonna come up on the new person's um, research on their research insurance. on the home and yep. on. So something's gonna have to happen when you sell it if you don't do what you're supposed to do with the check money. Yeah, so. it could be it could cause a lot of problems. And can I say one more thing? Yeah, absolutely. If you do get a new roof, mm -hmm. you're gonna hate this, but you actually need to go to your agent and tell them when you're done in order to update the policy right. and, oh. and get a lower rate yes, because you, you do. have a new roof. Yes, because I, yep, I get that little thing every year if there's any updates, and I make sure I update that when I got a new furnace or roof because that does make a difference on your policy. Right. So absolutely. all those things that you do to your house, right? Like you install an alarm system right. or you know, oh, whatever, absolutely. you should let your insurance person yep. know that right. information. Yeah. yeah. Super. Cool. So I would say if you have questions, we talked, we covered a lot of we stuff. We did cover a lot of stuff. So thanks people for hanging in with us because there's been a lot of information today. And, yeah. and, uh, but it's an important topic to talk about because, you know, we try to be relevant and these issues have come up this year in several different ways with insurance claims and selling and buying. And so we want to make sure we got an expert in here. So we got Tim. We did. Tim <laughs> we, the expert. We got the expert. <laughs> so yeah. I, Timmy. Timmy. I got Timmy Hibbing. Yeah. Yes. So uh, we appreciate his time and, and information. And if you have any questions, you can call any of us and we can uh, help you out.
right? Get you get you to the person who knows in, insurance information. <laughs> exactly right. Exactly right. So we have a wealth of knowledge to help you get to the right place. Super. Yes. So well, thanks for joining us today, yeah, and thanks, we will. Um, yeah, appreciate thanks. it, and we'll we'll see you next week. Have a great weekend.